here. Yes. Thank you. My question is about money. I have made a lot of money in my career. I've spent all, just about all of it. And as of about six hours ago, the sale of my company was completed. I am now officially retired, unemployed for the first time in probably 57 or more years. And I should be rejoicing, and I am. People think I'm going to lay on the beach with a drink in my hand and enjoy life. I'll do a little of that. An hour is about enough of that. You're right. It's too much. For you. The dilemma is that the, the proceeds from the sale of the business fell far short of what the original projection was. And I'm having trouble not viewing that as that's all the money we're going to have to live on for all of eternity. Now, I've, I've, as I said, I've made a lot of money. I've got a lot of skills that are marketable. But I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going from here. Well, as we listen to you talking about this culmination that you've been working toward for a while, we can feel split energy about it in the sense that while you were really ready to close the door on that chapter of your life, you're not ready to close the door on your life. Right. And so far whenever, from whenever anyone says that they are retiring, we would far rather hear them use the words, I'm going to begin doing something different than what I have been doing. When you said, I have over my lifetime made a lot of money and I've spent a lot of money, we wanted to say to you, you've breathed a lot of air in and you've breathed a lot of air out. In other words, and isn't it nice that you didn't have to hold that air in? Isn't it nice that in and out, in and out, in and out? And so nothing has changed. In other words, you're going to continue to make a lot of money. In fact, it is our expectation that more money than you have been flowing in any recent time will begin flowing because you're feeling you will begin once this all sinks in, you'll begin to feel so much less resistance, so much more freedom. And and the proceeds from the business that you've sold are giving you such a lovely buffer that really takes the sting out of everything that it will put you in a relaxed position where we believe your creative juices will flow more easily than they ever have before. Also, you have to remember there's something that we know that you don't know that we keep wanting to tell you because it's <laughs> beneficial for you to know it, but we don't mind that you don't know it because we know it and we can tell you anytime anyway. But here is the thing that we know, and that is that you have been launching all all kinds of things into your vibrational escrow and one of them is I will always want something interesting to do and that defies the basic definition of retirement and so you're wanting to say I'm retiring from that while I'm opening the door to that and we want you to understand that we think everything is right on schedule and we quite frankly think that part of what you launched over there into vibrational escrow now hear this you're really gonna like it if you hear it the right way so we'll be very careful how we say it to you because of the power of your being and the determination that you have for life to continue to flow through you, you would never put yourself in a position where it was not a good idea for you to be active because that need or desire to be active will continue to draw life through you. And if Esther has said, as money flows to them easily has for a very 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 long time it was flowing easily to Jerry before Esther even met him and for a while she felt guilty once she hooked up with him because <laughs> dollars began to flow easily to her and then Esther has teased because one night when the television was showing the lottery numbers she asked us for the numbers and we jotted them down on a napkin and those were the numbers and Esther said Abraham would you mind giving me those numbers before they choose them would you mind giving them to me so that I could win the jackpot and we said we would never in all of the universe do that for you because we would not want to deprive you of the ability to create your own reality in other words it's so much more fun for you to launch your rockets and let the universe yield to you you see and so you have without even knowing that you've put that in your vibrational escrow too you want enough money to be stable while you are creatively letting your juices flow toward other things but there are a lot of people and you may even know some who have not have any reason to project themselves financially 
actually, who have sort of withered. There's something about that financial reason that causes you to focus. In the same way that Esther will say, I shine in a crisis, and we say the reason you shine in a crisis is because the crisis makes you focus. Many people shine in the necessity of earning a living because it causes you to focus. And that focusing causes life to flow through you, and life flowing through you is what life is all about, you see. Thank you. Sorry for the wrong choice of terms. This is a new beginning, not a retirement. It truly is a, a fabulous new beginning. The best is still to come. And if anyone says, oh, you're retired, laugh and say, <laughs> well, that word got stuck in my throat years ago. Right. I don't use it. Thank you. Yes, indeed. <laughs>